Adept is pulled up. Adept is pulled yeah, he's up. On his, he's on his run, man. Slow to Adept. He's on this presidential rub, but I want before we get a depth, I'm about to pull you up in just a sec. But I want to know, I want everybody to see at first. I, I felt good. I was like, a depth is up on there talking to easy. Okay, okay, talk your shit, man. Get your word out. Get your word out. How you be talking your shit. And then it went from it went from this, y'all. Oh, bro, salute. <laughs> what is going on, up, bro? God damn it! Why I'm doing my live, man? Fuck. Yeah, we got a depth. This is a good one, right? Where you we got go? A where you go? So you admit it, you fucking faggot. So you you talk about this quarter lab shit, but you just admit it. You just admitted that you flagged, nigga. You just said it was quarter labs, and now. So it went from my nigga easy. Clapping it up like, oh shit, a depth oh, is up oh. here to fuck you, nigga. Blah, 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 blah. We got to talk about all of We have a depth HNIC. What's happening, Bridget? Yo, that shit just had me cracking up because that's dead ass true. So. Huh? <laughs> that nigga was dead clapping and everything. Bro. I was trying to have a, a healthy conversation with that man, man. Bro, he didn't want to make that happen. What's good with y'all, though? Chilling, man. It's, yeah, good. Man. it's yeah, good to have man. long time no long time no see 100 percent Welcome back up. But in fact, first of all, first of all, I want to shout out BA, bro. This platform gets a buzz up media. I really don't understand where those flagging and all that other crap is coming from. Cause like this is one of the most pure battle rap type of platforms. I remember I found this platform because these people were remember y'all y'all did the blogger tournament. Yeah, y'all were giving back to the community in mad different ways, you know what I mean. Yes. That shit is crazy that uh they coming for your channel like that. I don't understand that. Oh yeah, one one of them is the actual uh the number one league in the world. Wow. Was, they, they gave me one of them. Then the other one was uh was uh, was uh, was a hater that I'm not going to give him and I'm still disputing that one. Um but YouTube But when do they expire? You say you say what? When do they expire? Um, well, the, the first one that I got, which is, uh, from the biggest league in the world, supposedly, allegedly, allegedly with these, with these fake ass numbers, let me stop. Cause they're going to be like, B, cause they, you know, we get phone calls and shit. Oh, so you so you got the strike, uh, you got the strike and it said from Gene French, right? Uh, no, it wasn't from Gene French. It might've been from Gene French. Yeah, it's Gene know. French. Cause when I was getting my strike from URL, it was Gene French, mm -hmm. which is Chico. So. The thing that's crazy about that first one, that first one, it was um, so I, I used I used a, a bit of that content, right? I used like I used to use their content all the time and just talk about shit, just little clips and shit. But then when they were going through that situation with K Shine, right? Because I yeah. had clips, I had twerk, I was talking about all of these things. As soon as I talk about K Shine, they flag my shit. Wow. <laughs> Yo. Wow, that's that's crazy, right? And I and niggas can say conspiracy theory, all that shit. You could tell business wasn't right between them because you'll let me you'll you'll let me use your shit and and talk about talk about your shit on my platform. But the minute that I use K Shine because of the this is back this is like a few months ago. Yep, when they had they misunderstanding K. -Shine, you know you know the shit that be happening. Yep. They, they tag me, bro. <laughs> that's so petty too because like clearly they they saw you as beneficial all that time they let you rock but then they have no problem just taking you out of here as soon as like one little thing those niggas is like man i, I, I got no respect for those cats man the, the alleged number one league bro exactly i'm gonna say alleged number one league just because of numbers and i'm trying to be cool you know you get i get little calls and little text messages and shit here and there uh, because you know, back in the day, they used to try to, they used to, you know, people communicate and they'd be like, Yeah, you could talk about this. Da, 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 da. So I'm like, Yeah, yeah, yep. I don't I'm not sign with them or nothing. You feel me? I'm not signed with them or nothing. But they would put little shit my way, you know, little shit just to be like, Yo, speak about this. That we're gonna highlight this. Da, 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 da. I'll be like, All right, that's what's up, but not no more. Not no more. It's it's sort of it's 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 pretty much fuck. It's like, fuck, fuck all y'all, man. I'm doing this shit for the culture and because I want to do it. That's Yo, B, it. I never got your opinion on the uh, the MBS situation. How do you feel about that? I was on the same platform with that nigga. The, ah, shit, like right after it happened, right after it happened, right? We was on Bumpy Bar. Shout out to Bumpy Bar. This is one of my brethren. We was on this platform and MBS was up, was up there. 
And I told him, I was like, oh, what'd I say? I said something to him. I was like, yo, it was kind of like I was kind of heckling him, but I wasn't trying to. Mm -hmm. and I, was like, I was like, yo, since you know, since URL hit us all up, right? Right, NBS. And he, he he started getting uncomfortable. And then he just left the platform. But I've been saying from the beginning that it's cap. Yeah, that sounded like cap, man, the whole time, bro. I, I don't believe, I don't believe him because he's he's um I know I've been in this culture a long time and I and I I was blessed with the ability to see when you're genuine and when you're not. He's an opportunist and no disrespect because that's how people get on in this culture and, and other places. But this is fucking battle rap. You don't gotta mm. fucking lie about that in battle rap, bro. Yes, he's small. All, all I'm gonna say, all I'm gonna say, yeah, time is gonna reveal everything. That's oh, look, all time out of depth. So you you think uh, so? so you know, talk to Talk to us, Adele. Talk to us. You know, you I, know. Well, well, you know, I did the interview with him. Uh, I didn't see the inter I didn't see your interview with him. I didn't see oh yeah, B.A., you all out of battle rap right now, <laughs> then. <laughs> we've been talking about sports for the last hour and a half. Thanks. Yep, yep. Women's basketball too. Like, like y'all niggas talking about women's basketball <laughs> over the battle rap. Bro, <laughs> yeah, you see, you see that? Yeah, all the way up. Yeah, this is my fellowship. This is my fellowship time. Tuesdays is my fellowship with my brethren up here. We do this. Every well, I, you know, I, I interviewed the brother, and he uh he showed me the screenshot of the the call log, right? Where Beasley actually called him. He also proved that like mid, he was like the like one of the official media platforms for Midnight Madness. Like, so he was in communications with like Surf, Bill Collector, Jack Boy, right? So clearly they trusted him at some point. You know what I mean? But I'm just gonna all I'm gonna say because I can't say too much is just 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 wait it out <laughs> and pay attention to the RBE versus URL court case. That's it. Man. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, it's like that. It's like that. So it's some. It's it's that's how when you said court case, that sounds like that's gonna be that's gigantic. That's the macrocosm of this whole situation. That that's that's pretty much there, that, and that's why a lot of a lot of stuff can't be talked about. Mm. Okay, okay. I'm I'm not gonna front a depth. I, I I'm calling cap. I'm calling cap. Yeah, man. yeah, no problem. Yeah, yeah. Everybody got the right to, to do that. Until it's when it's when it's brought. When I see the situation, I hear the situation. Not no screenshots. I seen them showing screenshots. I'll tell you this though. I'll tell you this though. Right. Yeah. Um, any evidence that's received illegally cannot be used in court. Right. He recorded this. This uh, MBS lives in L.A. You could go look up the uh, how many parties have to consent to a phone conversation being recorded, and that should tell you a lot. Oh, why shit. the audio is not being put out? Oh shit! Oh right. Uh, we're talking. Yeah, because about... uh, California is a two-party state, so until both parties have to consent to the phone conversation being recorded, if he was if he was in New York, he'd be able to just record the conversation and whatever. But once he did it in California, he's allowed to do it per se, but he can't put it out. That would be illegal. And then at that point, anything, evidence that was whatever can't be used in court. Uh, so we'll see. Just, just wait it out. You'll, you'll see You'll see everything I'm talking about. For sure, for sure. Well, shout out to MBS. I kind of helped, I, I helped the guy, and I, I wasn't trying to be disrespectful, but I just wanted him to say something. But he, he just seemed like he was, I don't know what the fuck he was on, but salute to him. Cause I, I still haven't said nothing crazy and disrespectful, but show that proof when you get a chance, sir. That's all I can say. But um, with that being said, so Adele, man, because it's been a minute. Because you used to come on. I don't know. I don't know if you remember. You used to I don't get the here. notifications no more. Yeah, I, like I for real. You. Like you legit shadow ban, bro. Shadow ban from everybody. Uh, Caps, DME, Piper Boy, all of them. He, they, they, them niggas check on me every blue moon. It's like you still, you still, uh, you still blog. That's, <laughs> that's how crazy it is. But um, through all of that though, uh, how like how has everything been with you? Because I haven't, I, 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 I'm not, I'm not in the, I'm in the culture, but I'm not in the culture. If that makes sense. That's so, so crazy to hear, Max. Yo, this nigga BA was. Bro, this platform was like battle rap. You know what I mean? Yeah. Y'all niggas had like some of the best panels type of shit when y'all talk about strictly battle rap. Like you, yo, yo, even fucking, I don't fuck with Capo. Even Capo up here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, thanks. thanks. Snack King Cold. Y'all niggas talking about battle rap and shit. That shit was dope. 
You know what I mean? That, that's crazy that so you see what this flagging shit does. It makes niggas not even want to do anything in battle rap anymore, man. Like, and D, D, man had a, D and me had a good point. Like, that's what I always thought about flagging. Like, I mean, not, not flagging, but uh, sharing content. Like, bro, you can say anything about my shit. Like, if you don't like it, you like it, whatever you're going to. People are going to go see what the fuck's going on over there. And it's going to draw attention. Like, that's crazy. See, that's crazy. Like you, and, and you, I'm gonna flag your shit because you're talking shit about me. Nigga. Fuck that. Shit. Quit being a bitch. So what what it what it happened uh, initially was when I uh, I started doing YouTube shorts, and mm -hmm. on YouTube shorts, I started taking little clips here and there. But I was giving my I, I was giving my little input on the little clips. The clips ran up four million views in a month. Like I ran up. You see, that's what happened. Yep. And then once I once I ran up the four million views in a month, this is when I started seeing all these other people that I don't know come to my channel. And then the last video that I did was the K Shine video. And then that's when they looked. And I'm like, I'm not getting paid on these fucking YouTube shorts for it. But I don't, I don't, I don't need, I don't, I don't, like I said, I don't, I'm not tripping on the on the money part, but the shadow band part is what I am tripping on because I'm like, nigga, then, bro, we got we got interviews with murder movies. So, so don't you think that's kind of crazy, bro? Like, like because the shorts, like my channel started getting like a lot of subscribers last month because of uh, some of my shorts blew up. So, like, the shorts is a good way to bring a lot of people to your channel, uh, not for nothing. But do you think, like, since you started getting that attention, you got 16,000 subscribers, you got the four million views per, uh, that month. They did not want you to tell all those new subscribers about like that K Sean situation, man. That's fucking crazy, bro. Ain't that like, kind of because I mean, like, it doesn't to anybody else. It would sound like a reach. Like you think URL got like, that kind of power, but like, bro, I don't I, know, man. Oh, all right. As much as I want to say, hell no, nah, that nah, because we supposed to be cool. Like they always show me love and respect. It's possible, bro. Nah, they're 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 even with me, even with my voiceovers and shit like that, it's still reused content. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy, man. L lately, I've been having a lawyer do it. Because it's like, whatever whatever the lawyer says, the YouTube's just going to go by it because it's the lawyer that's like, all right, then go settle in court. That's the case. You know what I mean? That's 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 crazy. And um, man, so... What's it's something? way easier when you got the lawyer to just do it. And it's really not even expensive. Like, they just like, all right, Knock you know, that out real quick. You know, you just set a bar, right? Yeah, it's way, it's way easier. <laughs> it's way easier. Facts, facts. Yo, the yo. easy to unlock, Captain. Yo, did you did you see that interview? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, y'all been y'all took kind of took over the band, uh, the YouTube, especially on my algorithm. This is everywhere, bro, and it's just crazy. Um. That, that shit, that shit, yeah. I see you've been making your runs, man. I, I've never even watched uh, uh, Harlem Legends shit before, and I, I just happened to watch that shit. Definitely. Then you pop up in there, man. And it, it. Bro. When, when did this, like, what happened? Because the interview, I didn't see the whole interview of your original interview with Easy, but I seen a good, I want to say like 30, 40 minutes of it because I was working. Oh, there was like, there's like, uh, it was two and a half hours. See, and so what, what yeah. happened where it started going left is when um is when he was trying to like bring up battle truth, right? Yeah. Like trying to say, oh, since you're associated with battle truth, you're not credible, da 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 da, right? And uh, as soon as I pretty much shut him down with that, with a whole bunch of facts, a whole bunch of stuff that people could just look up, it's all just real shit. We interviewed the the, the alleged daughter, all of that, right? He started getting mad, and then he started talking about the whole Mercy dude. And this dude just straight up lied and said, there's a video of you getting choked out by No Mercy. I said, what video? What are you talking about? What? Yeah, he said, that, he said there's a video. He said he watched the video. What are you talking about? There's no video. And then I pulled up, what is there, the audio? He was like, nah, there's a video. I saw a video. 
<laughs> nigga, no, there's no video. So, so he just straight up lied. So that after that shit, after that whole conversation, I was like, no, hold up. Let's ask one more question. Do you think that you have your problems with the URL right now and Beasley, do you think it's personal? Because we know about T-Rex's third round against Easy. Wait, you mind? Beasley, am I lying? With his lady. With his lady, yeah. With his lady. Beasley, am I lying? And we know Matt Hoffa, right? There was a lot of rumors that Matt Hoffa got black balls from URL because he was messing with one of Beasley's girls. Exactly. And you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, do you think maybe there's some possible way that could be connected? He immediately got offended. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then a bunch of other shit we talked about after that regarding that situation. Then I said, do you also think, hey, listen, they also all saw you put hands on her on the Woman of the Year panel back in 2021, allegedly, where Devo had to break up the fight. You remember that, right? We seen it on camera, though. I don't facts. know if you remember that. I don't know if you remember, I remember that. I remember the fucking foot DNA, facts. DNA I mean, tool. Tell them that was on camera. <laughs> DNA tool got it, and then they made they uh they struck him and made him take it down. Yeah, yeah. There was like a, a video, like you didn't see it, pretty, but you saw him pass the camera, and then you hear all the chairs and shit moving, and then the stream stops. I, I remember the video of him literally. I'm Somebody did say there was two videos. I saw one video where you don't see it. You see him pass the camera and you hear it. Bro, alleged, like, I remember. I remember. Nobody's it's crazy. Nobody's talking about this video. But it was a video where he literally, allegedly, allegedly, y'all. Uh, that's what I'm You talking about the one in the car? He was in the car. Yeah. And, 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 and dude was going off. Dude was going off because of some chick. That uh he was uh that was was giving them play and he was like kind of giving her play back and she went off and she got all that like there in the car and then next thing you know you see this nigga reach over and I, I'm not gonna say nothing I don't know I don't know I don't know anything else I don't know anything else y'all because I don't want niggas being like but oh, it was man. nasty but it was nasty work DNA tooth had it he recorded it and put it out and I'm sure he still got the footage somewhere because they made him take it down. <laughs> the thing with Tooth is he would have if he had that footage he would upload it already. He he, he uploaded it. He, I know but on his new channel. You know they started, they took down his last channel. Yeah, yeah, they took down his uh they definitely took down his last channel and I know he uh he, his backup channel is growing again. But yeah, yeah, had, I think he's like at five thousand again. Like I said, he had it because she was going live. She was going live, and I guess she must have forgotten that she was live. Yeah, everyone was telling me about that video. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that video is, but I didn't mean to cut you off, but he keep going, bro. So I brought that up. I said, do you think maybe they feel some type of way because they saw you do that? <laughs> <laughs> and that nigga, it, it, it pretty much it went left after that. He kicked me off the show. And then um, I, he kicked me off pretty much mid-statement type of thing. You know what I mean? So then I went live and I started bombing on him. Cause I already felt disrespected in the first place. Cause you lying about videos. You saw me getting beat up. Like what are you talking about? Nigga? Like you never saw no video like that. You just made that up just to try to like for your audience. You know what I mean? Wow. Yeah. Wow. I, I forgot. I forgot who said this, man. Somebody just recently said this, but they was, they was like, I don't know if easy really knew what he was getting into bringing a depth up there, man. Cause you'd be kind of having your, 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 your statements down. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, Motherfucker be out there like a newscaster, bro. I don't, I don't know if uh, he what niggas he was is ready for all that shit. You know what I mean? He what he was doing, he was doing it because of like he was, the, you know, he was being. Ah, see, I, I, I like, him as a battle rapper. I like him, I like him as a battle rapper, but I got to keep it one hundred. He was being messy because he just did the, the 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 no mercy joint. I think he just did it before or, or after or whatnot. No, he did. He did it the day after. The day after, so he was, he was that. That's what he wanted to get into the messiness of that situation. And he had that DME too. Yeah, and the DME situation. He wanted he wanted to be he wanted he wanted to be messy. That's what he wanted to do, and he wanted to bring get his viewership up that way, on a blogger standpoint. And it didn't work. It blew up in his face, unfortunately. It's crazy that he thinks people just forgot about that hurricane do situation, bro. Yeah, but. But like for him to try to get messy, like like that's not gonna get brought up on him or something. Bro, I don't know if you noticed, know and shout out to Hurricane Duke, because I, I I fuck I fuck I fuck with her content here and there when she does go live here and there. I'm not gonna say I'm the a fan or nothing like that, but she cool people, she good people. But 
I, she's been going on this. She's been going live a little more and every all her lives that she's been going that I've seen is a bunch of people asking her uh, about him. And yeah, she is going on this tour of we're not together. We're not together. Stop asking me. We're not together. Just I'm going to bring this up once more. Like she's on a tour, like uh, on a I don't fuck with easy tour right now. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I wonder why. <laughs> somebody uh somebody asked it tonight because she went live and they said uh oh what's the reason you you and easy broke up and then she said me and him just don't get along i'm just gonna leave it at that we just don't get along i'm saying man like, and and what happened in uh remember this stuff i brought up on too real for battle rap i brought up the uh the 40 bars little airbnb Bro. Hey, that, hey, that shit, that shit was wild. And when you, when you broke, when you broke it down, I seen a little clip when you broke it down. You was like, "Caps, you didn't know about this, did you?" So apparently, I got a reliable source. And then when my nigga was finally said, "Uh, the, we was on the show," that was like some, uh, that was, uh, I was like, "Damn, this nigga's got him on the ropes, bro. This is crazy." Facts. I'm not, I'm not using her content. Seven oh two. I'm definitely not using her content. But anyways. But oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the what was the live about too? Yeah, she said flagging ain't snitching. So yeah. Don't, don't don't play nothing with Hurricane do. But so with this with this forty bar situation, right? So she, I I seen just to get just to put it in correct terms because I don't want to misquote uh, misquote you, but you were saying that um, allegedly there's a footage of her doing a reality TV show that she was trying to start, and he he got did, did he get physical with her or was he just cussing her out? It was it was more so like really cussing out, being real abusive. But they're saying that behind, in their room, they heard like some scuffling type of stuff, and he was wilding out on her. Like, but it was like behind the clothes, but they heard behind the walls type of thing. But even like in public, the way he was like treating her, he was making her change her clothes, calling her all types of names outside of her name. You know what I mean? Uh, apparently there was like a an event. Where they brought like a masseuse, a massage therapist, and all the girls were gonna get massages because it was like a couple's show. So they had, uh, let me remember, they had Easy and Do, they had Tay Rock and Lady Caution, and they had Stamp and Miami. Oh, wow. Miss Miami. And uh, also Anwar and Rita. But Easy didn't allow Do to uh, get the massage because all the girls was like coming out in thongs, lingerie uh, to get the massage, and it was all gonna be on camera for the show. And Easy apparently is like some insecure nigga. He don't want people seeing, thinking his girl look good. You know what I mean? Something like that. That's so he like, apparently he went off about that. She said she can't, she can't get the massage because Easy's not allowing her. Like it was just a whole. They said it was just a real awkward and and, and, and uncomfortable weekend. You know what I mean? Because he was just treating her so crazy, and that they heard all this other types of abuse going on by, uh, in their room. You know what I mean? Crazy. But yeah, my reliable source is legit. Like, I, I don't understand how... Also, Debo in that chat, I don't know if you go back to that live stream, right? And you look in the chat, De all of Debo's comments are gone. He deleted all his comments. All the comments he was saying were, oh, there's no footage. I never received any footage. What is he talking about? He deleted all those comments. Then he went on Easy Show and confirmed, yeah, 40 did send me the footage to edit, but I didn't watch all of the footage, so I didn't see all of it. I sent it back. Da, 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 da. But first he was claiming that he never received any footage. So the, again, they were really surprised that I knew about this. Yeah. I, I, they I weren't seen, ready for that. I seen his face. I seen his face on the live when you were saying it before he got into his bag of uh, what was he saying? Show proof or whatever. Like I seen, you could see his reaction and sense his energy change. Facts. Gosh, oh my gosh, man. What what other what other dirt did you got on these battle rappers in depth, man? What other dirt you got? <laughs> I've heard even worse behind the scenes about the easy joint, but those sources rather not me not tell that story at all because he's gonna know exactly who it is, you know what I mean? So but yeah. I heard some really nasty stuff with this dude, man. <laughs> this dude's a clown, bro. With everything that I heard about this dude, I look at him like he's six nine, man. He, he's some pussy ass dude that's probably around some tough niggas in Philly because they look at him as an investment. But they say he's not even really from Philly though. Nah, he's not from Philly. Damn. He probably knows some tough niggas in Philly now because he got the, you know, he he get he's like getting to that star power type of level. He's getting on these shows and stuff. So I'm sure he I'm sure he got some tough niggas around him, but he ain't tough. I know that. 
<laughs> I know that. Niggas, remember, the Easy got locked up before. A yeah, brother he- told me they were talking to this nigga about like their experience being locked up in, in PA, and they were talking about all the different jails and the systems. Easy didn't know nothing about that. But Easy was locked up before. If you're locked up, you're talking to people in the prisons, you know about people transferring from this place, that place, you know everything. You know what I mean? You're gonna know everything about the prison system if you're actually out there in the yard locked up. But Easy was clearly somebody who had his head down. He was sitting in the day room and he did his time. Because he ain't know nothing. Nothing. Damn. Easy soft, man. I'm sorry, man. I mean, oh. niggas was telling me some crazy shit about Easy, bro. Asking me, asking you where your location is. I was like, nah. Man, stop it. I, I I shut down your strike. I did a whole legal process. You got my Addy. Stop it. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, shit. You know when you fight those strikes, you got to put your, your address. Personal information. Yeah, you got to put your name, your address, everything. Oh, uh, man. We just, started, we just started liking this guy, man. Me too. It's sad. Me too. <laughs> Yo, I don't know why he wanted to fight with me, bro. I, I really just wanted to go on that show and talk about the predatory business that the URL does and how they're trying to sabotage these other so-called black-owned businesses. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I think, like, I really, I get this strange feeling right now, transitioning to the URL, that they are they are really on like that. I feel like they reached their ceiling. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, me too. Like, there's no way, even though there there's always a way, anything's possible. But realistically, they they can't get no higher than what they really are at this point. And uh, that's usually what happens with most businesses, too. I mean, if you study uh, business at all, like like a lot of yeah. top businesses after four years, like in business, a lot of things like in the internal personnel changes. The URL is running on like, what, 14 years now? So there's yeah. so many internal changes, so many other people making decisions. It's not it, the, the way they got to that point. They're not continuing to do that. You know what I mean? They built their platform by actually doing YouTube drops, doing all the types of stuff to promote their artists, making sure these battlers are coming with three rounds, not letting that shit t- slide at all. That's how they got to be the number one league in the world. But then they stopped doing those type of things, but they expect to continue to grow. They're not going to grow. At that point, you're just going to decline. I, I just... Um, Especially with them taking everything off of YouTube. Facts. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah. I feel like <clears throat> they were doing so they were on a decline and then 2019 hit 2019 actually was a really good year for battle rap transitioning to covid i feel like covid like single-handedly <clears throat> saved them right they were going back down they were going back down and all the traffic from battle rap because remember we had the guerrilla warfare you feel me? We had Black Ice Cartel. We had right. KOTD, RBE. We had all of these different conglomerates. That Black were Ice is my favorite. Black Ice, yeah. I read. They, I, I love the way they edit the battles and everything. I thought I that was dope. That thing, John Doe is so fire, bro. Yeah. John Doe edits when they fire. The, when they did the cage back. matches. I, uh, yeah, exactly. The cage matches, they're coming back. But what happened was when COVID hit, it was uh all their traffic that all of them conglomerates had had built up their fan bases since they stopped making com uh content. All of them transitioned to the URL. Yep. All because the-, the URL at the peak of COVID, they injected 113 million dollars into them. Like they they were the, the caffeine was the single was the only reason URL was able to still be active during that time. Right. That's the damn, right. Yeah, that's the truth. And I say that to say this, we are about two and a half years removed, two and a half years removed really from COVID. These other leagues are starting to get their footing again. They're starting to come back and have the events and battle and do all of this other stuff. So I'm looking at RBE right now, and I'm not the biggest fan of Adam. Adam to me, is just, he's cool, but he's a little suspect. I would never trust that man, but he's cool. I don't blame you. <laughs> like on some real mm-hmm. shit. Uh, he's just a little. He used to support the platform too, but he, I guess, he thinks I'm too URL ish. But anyways, um, 
with him spe- uh, mm-hmm. with his league specifically. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he signed a big deal somewhere else and RBE started to actually creep up because I'm looking at RBE moves. The cards don't make sense as far as the battles, but I'm seeing the business is making sense behind the scenes, especially how he's mm-hmm. breaking that. He's breaking down the pie and he's doing these residual pieces behind the scenes with these battlers. Do you think that's a good idea? 100%. 100%. Yeah, that's at the end of the day it's going to save him money too. Like I, at the end of the day because of the battlers since they're going to be owning a lot of, you know, their residuals and their comp, you don't have to pay them too much money up front because he don't got to do those max outs. Remember, he was he was literally maxing out his credit cards for those max out events, Bro, you know. Man. But instead of doing that and actually doing like some type of ownership deal or residual deal, royalty deals with the with the artists, you're actually going to pay them less. You're just, you know, you're going to own less of that content, but you're still going to make that money at the door. You're going to make that money off the pay per view. You're still going to make a profit. Exactly. So I think he's doing he's going the right route. I, I, Even yeah. the King Bayou dude, man, like not for nothing, man. He's a weird dude, bro. But like the concept of what he's trying to do is dope. I just think low kids an NFT scam. But the other type of parts of the deal, though, uh, it's a dope idea. It's a total NFT scam. You, scam, you know this. You know Definitely, this. it's an NFT scam for sure. You know, you know this, but it sounds good. And it sounds nice. Like, you know, like, like, let's start talking about it, though. Even though not his idea, but that idea, that realm of, of, of idea is nice. Let's talk about that. I, I, I respect I respect what he's doing due to the fact that it's, uh, it's opening up the avenue of conversation, of real conversation of residual income from the content that you make. And if he can get if he can get off this next card, he's supposed to be having, I believe, in June or July. If he can get this off, that loaded lux versus daylight, that's going to fuck the game up. Not in a bad way, in a good way for the artist. If he's able to pull that off, what do you think about that battle that happened on King Bow? Uh, Man, he just got to get. He got to get the stream right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. He gonna have to. I let uh. That what you call it? Stream. What they? What the? What you call avocado? What you want? Ain't no Kato. They're going to have to holler at him. They're going to have to holler at him. Because at least, hey, he's going to have it looking good. He gonna have it man, good. they got to holler at Twiz, man. Where's oh. Twiz at? You know, yeah, that's man. crazy. Whatever happened to him? Uh, Twiz yeah. said, I remember he went on Twitter. He said uh, the URL is really funny. I remember he, he went off on Twitter about the URL like a few years ago. He said they do funny style business. And they just turned them off from Battle Rap, period. Like doing business with them. That's crazy. Hey, they um, what they 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 uh, they decided to go with uh, for real. They decided to go with Anderson Burris and uh, yep. what's, what's yeah, another driver. dude? What's the uh, what's the other the other white dude? JB. Oh, yeah, JB. Oh, JB. Anderson yeah, Burris. When they so they got their caffeine crew that do caffeine, but when they do their other um app battle stuff, app only yeah, the outside events. Yeah, that's JB and uh, Anderson Burris. That's them two. They they tag team members. Yeah, I bet you can charge them less. I'm so mad that I don't want to like that dude Anderson Burris, but yo, he'd be kind of fire in the battles, man. Yeah. <laughs> kind of 